there are several types of people out there who will be interested in a small camera. Those who are interested in the novelty of a small camera. Those such as private detectives who would use it in a professional manner. The annoying bar stewards who would use it to catch inappropriate footage of their friends and relatives in a mission to get free alcohol. And those who we shall not mention, but let's just say may have a predisposition to taking up a position in a bush whilst looking into distant dimly lit rooms. For all those types of people, I have most excellent news. For out of China, just for a change, comes this little gem, advertised as smallest mini cameras, camcorder, HD video recorder, DVD, spy, hidden pinhole, web camera, and Jesus is that one hell of a title. Feel how it just rolls off the tongue like, um, Anyway, one more time. Smallest mini cameras give you the better there. Try again. Smallest mini cameras camcorder HD video recorder DVD spy hidden pin hole webcam. Wow, I'm knackered. Okay, basically, what I think they're trying to say, in a very roundabout, not to the point kind of way, is that it's the smallest mini HD camcorder perhaps I would take photos too. Well, for a start, that title is a big, fat, Fishy smelling, nah, stinking lie. But we shall see why that is, in not too many ticks of the clock. So, to analyse what we have here, let's first of all, as tradition dictates, take a look at the advert itself. Yes, only £8.95. pennies. I'm sold. No need to read the rest, bagger that. For those of more sane disposition, and I know there are just a couple of you out there, let's have a quick scan of the page. Okay, what we do have here, smallest mini cameras, new, a brand new, unused, yada yada yada, wireless, lie, real time recording. Well, I bloody hope so, I suspect it doesn't watch the scene, then record something about it later. What the f- Why the hell is the surround the advert an advertisement for bloody makeup? Um, can we use this thing as lipstick or something? Talk about inappropriate advertising. Okay, moving down. AVI, JPEG. Aha, video resolution 640 by 480 pixels. Hang on, doesn't this advert say just up here, that this is a HD camera, or am I working in several parallel dimensions at once? Nope, it definitely says HD here, so there is one of two strange things going on here. Either they don't know what a HD camera is, or they are lying. I'll leave you to conclude. Next, picture resolution, 1280 by 720. So if you take the dimensions of the picture, that will be HD video. But it's photo dimensions, not the video dimensions. So there was some fibbing going on here, gentlemen. Only other thing of interest here is the dimensions. 27 by 26 by 26 millimeters. Tiny and weight, 30 grams. Let's get the rest of the info off the box. Speaking of the box, here the bugger is. And for a product that was only just under nine pounds, it's a rather nice box. If you ignore the damage that mine acquired in the post, and the dirty great barcode they slapped on the front, yes, for this video we'll ignore the fact that I tried and failed miserably to remove that sticker. So on the front it says something in Chinese, which is not my native language, so I'll default to the English, and it says, the smallest camera. And then the rest is covered by that dirty great barcode. But I can just read in in the label. So I'm assuming that it's going to say Doncaster and leave it at that. Further down, below this handy window that allows us to meet eye to eye with the ominously staring gadget. I'm sorry Dave, I'm afraid I can't do that. It tells us that it's a Y2000, something that is not mentioned anywhere in the advert. At the bottom, it's just somebody jumping through a roll of film on a skateboard and once again that it's a mini camcorder, the smallest camera in the world. But it never says the smallest camcorder in the world. They seem to be avoiding that for some reason. On both sides we get the statement, all function in one touch, 
mild chinglish striking here, and some low definition slightly blurry images, perhaps a sign of what is ahead. The back gives us some more details, including record anytime. Great, a camera I finally don't need to charge, because anytime obviously covers the period when it has no charge. This is also going to mean I can finally make that epic movie about my bath time submarine battles. It also has two other functions, which could be of use here. Record during charging and a recycle record. Recycle record means that once it's run out of memory, it will just start recording again, which makes it useful as a security camera, perhaps for watching your car or spying. The fact that it can record during charging helps us with this, meaning you are not limited by the charge of the battery. Although, as you will see shortly, there is a bit of a design flaw in this regards. Okay, let's see what lies within the confines of the box. Inside the box, we find the camera itself, held in position by this piece of plastic and a small white box, which contains the USB cable, a thingy for strapping it to your wrist, and a keychain in case you're the ultimate pain in the rectum, who irritatingly films everything as you go. Although, on the end of this, and with such a small lens, the amount of wobbling this thing is going to do would make the footage practically unviewable. The box also contains the instructions, with writing that is in keeping with the small nature of the product. The instructions within are available in two languages, Chinese and Chinglish. Yes, as is the tradition with these products, sometimes a translation in the instructions is more entertaining than the product itself. An example. So mini camera, the smallest, but it can take video, audio and photo. So lovely design, just for lady or girls as gifts. So not for men then, why the hell do I have this thing? Looking at the camera itself, it is, as already established, small, and apart from the fixed lens at the front and the one operation button, which is used for all its functionality on the top, there is not much going on with this camera. The back has what might appear at first to be an LCD, but alas, fooled we are, for it is not. On one side we have a hole to fit the strap thingy. On the other side, there is some info about the camera, although you may need a bloody good microscope to extract any information from here. Underneath is where the action is at, having a mini USB for charging and data transfer and a micro SD card slot, which apparently can hold up to 32 gigabytes. Although I've not tried this. The position of the USB slot on the bottom is a bit of a problem if you intend to use this on the mains, as it restricts your ability to put it on anything flat. Operating this tiny thing is simplicity itself. To turn it on, talk softly to it and tell it how sexy it is. Or press this button on top until the red light comes on. To record your naughty, I mean, um, a professional video, hold down the button for two seconds until it starts to flash. Stopping the video is just a matter of pressing it again until the light goes stable. Taking pictures is just a matter of quickly pressing the button you will see the light flash. The one problem here, as you will see, is that even with practice, this action creates such motion in the camera that most pictures will come out a blur. So how does this thing perform in the field? Well, first of all, let's look at pictures. Here are some taken inside and outside. Well, as you can see, we're not talking state of the art here. The pictures are due to the motion of the camera pressing this tiny button, which has got quite a resistance on this very small camera, causes a bit of motion blur. The cameras are also badly saturated. There's not much definition. It's just terrible. I would not use this to take any pictures whatsoever. Hopefully, video performance will be better. Well, as you can see with this video taken outside on a bright sunny day, definition is poor. It's not very saturated, it's blurred, and looks like some third generation VHS copy. In fact, I suspect that the third generation VHS copy might even have better quality than this. Even indoors, it's the same sad story. And even indoors talking to it, sound quality's not exactly stellar. 
But before we moan too much about this, let's remember the context of this gadget. Its price does not even reach the dizzying heights of £9. So what is our final opinion on the smallest mini cameras camcorder HD video recorder DVD spy hidden pin novel webcam? Otherwise known as a V2000. What must be taken into account here is that this thing is only £8.95p. We are not talking about something around the £200 mark for which we we'll are expecting good performance. Most toys cost more than this thing, which is basically what it is. It's the fact that they repeatedly claim that it's an HD camera that really knocks me about it. So in the final analysis, this thing is a gimmick really, something of a curiosity, perhaps for a child. With the complete lack of picture quality, it's in no way imaginable a HD camera, no matter how many times they put it on the box. It's never going to have any serious use in either video or photography, so it's a curiosity at most or useful for the bush inhabitor with an extremely limited budget. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like it and consider subscribing. It costs less than the camera, being free. Also, if you've enjoyed the video, then please consider supporting us through Patreon. You can also socialize with me and other like-minded geeks and nerds using the social media links found in the description. Thanks very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. Ha <laughs> ha